What's going on everyone? So I wanted to show you guys the whole process of putting the Altrex on, but we are pretty much entirely done putting the Altrex on. We have to rig the sensor heading, which we have to rig some wiring to run all the way to the back of the boat. Let me just make one quick point for you guys, because I saw a couple comments hoping that I would teach you guys or show you guys how to put on the Altrex, how to run my new cables, how to run my new graphs. For me to do that would be like Alex Rudd teaching you guys how to drop shot. And Alex can drop shot and I can put this motor on and I can put my graphs on, but I don't do it enough and Alex doesn't drop shot enough to be ultra effective at teaching you all the nuancey things. So I just don't do it enough. So you guys can watch other videos on how to install this stuff. I'll just give you guys updates along the way and let you, how much, let you know how much that I am struggling trying to put this thing on. My dad is actually the brains behind the operation. I started this last night, had to call in reinforcements because I couldn't get it done myself. Big surprise there. Guys, if you're not already, please do me a huge favor. Go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and it'll let you know when I post more videos just like this one here. We're gonna get back to work on the trailer motor right now. We're gonna rig up my graphs, rig up that seven inch, rig up the 10 inch up front, rerun some wiring back there. We got a couple things we gotta get done, so I'm not gonna be on here too long. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Dad's gonna get sick and tired of me real, real quick, cause, but I wanna show you guys what I'm doing, why I'm running new power. So one thing I didn't do when I bought this boat is run power straight to my graphs to a battery. Uh, so right now, my power wires are being tied into something else, and when that happens, you get some voltage drop. So I'm running brand new 12 gauge wire back to a, a battery just dedicated for my graphs and for my units. Um, so that's the reason that we're doing this. We're trying to make sure that I'm going to constantly have power to my graphs because especially out there on the water, you need to know where the hazards are and where everything else is. So we're going to run this new power. And I'll be honest, seeing me with a power tool is kind of interesting. Uh, and my dad can attest to that. It, it's not something that, <laughs> that I do very often if I have to be entirely honest. So what we're doing to run this new wire is I'm going to pull my transducer cable which is right here I'm going to pull this back through the boat and I'm going to feed with it a 25 pound test piece of fishing line and by doing that it's going to allow me to pull this wire back through it's going to give me something to pull the wire back through with so we're going to tie it off to some fishing line we're going to pull the fishing line back through then pull the transducer and the fishing line back through again um, Kind of make work to save time in the long run. Now the fun begins. We're pulling this bad Jesse through. I'm going to pull a wire. Can you tell me if it's the right one or the wrong one? All we, all we need, that one's already run. Yeah. Why? Well, just pull this all up this way. Yeah, and then tie it in and pull it through. Yeah. So let me explain the idiocracy that ensues when I buy the wire that has to go in the boat. I bought a 20 foot piece of wire for a 20 foot boat, which doesn't make any sense now that I've actually run the wire. Uh, the wire is actually too short, so what we're going to do is run a wire. We're going to tie it into the power at the console, and then we're going to tie it in to another wire that's going to power up front here. So you're going to have a 12 to 12. Um, this one powering the graphs up here, this one powering the graphs right here, clean wiring, keeping everything running constantly, but oh, I'm not the smartest tool. But what we did is we took some tape, we taped all the wires together, pulled them through, then pulled them back through, um, so that way we had all the wires run back here to the back of the boat to the batteries. And then I got to clean up the battery pit back here to put another battery in there. To run my graphs off of. Well boys and girls dad has headed home. We are not quite done obviously so we're not doing fishing tomorrow but the Altrex is on. We have the wires pretty much run. We have to splice them together tomorrow. That's the reason we didn't finish tonight. We didn't have the right pieces. We didn't have the right components to splice those wires together but then we're gonna mount the Garmin 1040 XS up front, the Echo Map 73 up front and then we're mounting that 7610 at the console back like it was but I'm gonna have fresh wiring to those graphs so I'm not gonna have any graph issues this season cleaned up a lot of the wiring it looks awesome the boat is is coming together the Altrex looks amazing have to run those transducers tomorrow but 
man, I am pumped. Super, super, super pumped to get on the water. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Day three of working on the boat. Uh, realistically, if I had known what I was doing and I had all the parts and all the pieces and everything, we probably could have been done the first day. Um, but we didn't have everything. It would have been a long project, probably three or four hour project. And so, yeah, we're on day three. We're going to get it done tonight. Now we'll hopefully be going fishing tomorrow. Tonight would have been a great night to go fishing too. It's about 55 degrees outside. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice, but it's supposed to be a little bit rainy. So I'm hoping it holds off just long enough where I can get out on the water tomorrow because we will go rain or shine as long as we can get this boat done. The boat is done. The Altrex is ready to go. We have a PS22 Panoptics transducer. It's gonna be mounted all the time, live view down. This is gonna be awesome, especially for those deep fish because live view down is like so key, but we're not getting rid of live view forward. We're mounting a PS31 Panoptics transducer on the shaft. This is the, the same unit I was running on um, the old Fortrex trolling motor. Then we have our down view transducer right here. So we have three transducers on this Fortrex. And then boys and girls, we have the Minn Kota Altrex, 112 pound thrust, 36 volt trolling motor, spot lock right there. And there is my 10 inch Garmin 1040XS. I mounted it on a bracket in the middle and I did that for a very specific reason. Remember that ice unit that I was using? Well, that's gonna go on the ram mount right here. So I'm gonna have two units up front this season. The 1040 on this, uh, basically it's a solid mount. Then you're gonna have the seven inch right here. This is the puck that goes for the Minn Kota Altrex. The boat's still a mess. Gotta get that cleaned up before tomorrow. It's running a Garmin 7610 GPS map unit right there. And the boat is pretty much ready to go. I have to put a bunch of tackle in it, put a bunch of stuff in it, so I can go out fishing tomorrow, but I am super pumped. It turned out awesome. Big shout out to my dad. We had to put a new battery back here, so I'm running five batteries now. Three trolling motor, one starting, and then one for my graphs. So I'm gonna have to remember to charge that battery. Um, it was a headache. It turned out awesome. I also have to give a huge shout out to the man cave angler. His name is Terry Brown. He runs Wired to Fish. He helped me out with some of the with some of the wiring and how I should route it. So Terry, if you're watching this man, huge shout out to you. Thank you very much for helping me walk through some of that. I got to get the boat cleaned up so we can do fishing tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already and hit that notification bell because it does help me get my videos boosted to not only you but to other people. Thank you guys for watching. As always, take care. Tight lines. God bless.